This video provides an overview of using VMware Update Manager to upgrade your ESX and ESXi hosts to version 5. This video is based off Knowledge Base Article 2004501 and the vSphere Upgrade Guide. VMware Update Manager is a robust software for upgrading and patching clustered ESX and ESXi hosts from a centralized location, usually the vCenter server, but can also be another machine. The Update Manager application consists of a plugin that runs on the vSphere client, which you can install either on the same computer as the vCenter server system or on a different computer. One of the key new features of Update Manager 5.0 is the ability to upgrade an ESX Classic host to ESXi 5.0 while still preserving VMFS volumes. To get started, we will need to install Update Manager on your vCenter server, assuming you have already upgraded to vCenter Server 5.0. The vSphere 5.0 installation media should be mounted in the CD-DVD ROM of your machine. Open the media and click on the autorun.exe in the root folder of the CD-ROM drive. Click the vCenter Update Manager option on the left-hand menu. Click the Install button to begin the installation. Select the installation language and click OK to continue. On the Welcome to the Install Shield Wizard for VMware vCenter Update Manager, click Next. On the End User Patent Agreement, click Next. Select Next if you agree to the terms of the license agreement. Note the functionality of Update Manager 5.0 has changed from Update Manager 4.x. Update Manager 5.0 no longer supports patching of virtual machines. Click Next to continue. In the vCenter Server Information dialog window, Enter the username and password of the administrator that connects to vCenter Server. For this example, we will install a Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express instance. The database information screen will be displayed. Click Next to continue. Select the default vCenter Update Manager port settings and click Next. Take the defaults for the destination folder and patch locations unless you desire to change them to another drive. At the Ready to Install the Program window, click Install. Once the installation has completed, click the Finish button. Now that we have Update Manager installed, the next step is to install the Update Manager plugin in the vSphere 5.0 client. Launch the vSphere client. Log in as an administrator to the vCenter server. Once inside the vSphere client, go to Plugins, then Manage Plugins. Click on the Download and Install link for the VMware vCenter Update Manager extension. Select the language and click OK. On the Welcome screen, click Next. Select Next if you agree to the terms of the license agreement. At the Ready to Install the program, click Install. Once the installation has completed, click Finish. After a moment, you will see the VMware vCenter Update Manager extension is now installed and enabled. You can now close the Plugin Manager window. Click on the Home menu. You will now see that Update Manager has been installed and an icon is available under the Solutions and Applications tab on the home page. Now let's upgrade your host. From the home page, click on the Update Manager icon to launch Update Manager. You will now be presented with the Update Manager admin screen. Click on the ESXi Images tab. This will allow us to import the ESXi 5.0 image that we will use for the upgrade. Click on Import ESXi Image. This will open a wizard that will allow us to browse to the location of the ESXi 5.0 image to be imported. Click the Browse button and open the folder you downloaded the EXI image to. Find the VMware VMVisor installer and click Open. Once the image is selected, click Next. You will now see the status of the upload displayed on the screen. Once the upload has completed, click Next. Here we will create an Update Manager baseline for the ESXi image. Enter ESXi 5.0 upgrade in the name field and enter a description if desired. Click Finish. You should now see the baseline in the imported ESXi images screen. Now click on the Baselines and Group tab. 
and you will see the newly created baseline there also. We are now ready to upgrade our ESX host to ESXi 5.0. In the Update Manager Administration view, click the Compliance view on the top right of the screen. This will bring you to the inventory of your hosts. Select the host you want to upgrade and scroll through the tabs to select Update Manager. In the Attach Baseline or Group window, select the ESXi 5.0 upgrade baseline that you just created and click the Attach button. Your screen now should display that it has an unknown compliance. Select the Scan link to scan the host for the compliance. Wait for the scan to complete and you will see the screen update to reflect that the host is non-compliant. In the Update Manager Compliance View window, select the Remediate button. This will start the Remediate wizard. Confirm that the correct baseline is selected and the correct host and click Next. Click Next if you accept the terms of the license agreement. Select the option to ignore installed third-party software that is incompatible and click Next. Note, only do this if you are sure that you will not need any third-party software installed on the host. Otherwise, consult your third-party vendor before proceeding. In the Schedule window, enter a task description and select immediately as the remediation time. Click Next. For the host remediation options, select the defaults and click Next. You can change these based on your environment, but generally the defaults are what you want to keep. At the Ready to Complete screen, click Finish. The Remediate task gets submitted to the Recent Task window and the remediation starts. You will see the host being put into maintenance mode. On reboot, the host will boot to ESXi 5.0. Here we can see the host has been taken out of maintenance mode and the remediation task is complete. Congratulations on using Update Manager and upgrading your host to 5.0. For more videos like this one, visit our website at www.vmware.com and thank you for choosing VMware.